right, the big headline this week on West End was A.D. Malcolm Turner backing Derek Mason following a, well, disastrous season. Yeah. What's your take on this, Joe? I just don't know how you sell this program in 2020. Let me ask you this. I'll tell you about a program, just a random program, and their coach has had six losing seasons. And you, what would your reaction be if I told you about a team, has a coach, six losing seasons? What would your reaction be? Well, what's their fan base used to? <laughs> but, no, I'm saying, what would your reaction? You How's should... this guy still have a job, right? Why right. is what's That's going fair. forward? That's fair. Hey, look, we all like Derek Mason. I think he's a wonderful coach. I just don't think he's a great head coach for this Vanderbilt program. Now, six seasons. No winning, no winning record. My defense for him is you, you've beaten Tennessee three straight times. You went to a bowl last year. It's tough for replacing James Franklin. I get that. Right. But does that not mean anything to you winning the biggest game on the schedule three consecutive seasons? No, I think – Really solid football right. team last year. You're, you can have a bad season, right. but I, I guess you're saying if they shouldn't keep him, you're seeing more seasons like this – in the future. Uh, you six seasons, you haven't a winning I mean you have not had a winning record. And I five hundred going to a bowl game. But doesn't I get matter. It. That's not a winning record. End, yeah, it's not a it. winning record. And look, I got I, again, I think he's Love a wonderful guy. man, yeah. right? I got no problem with him. But I just think if you look at overall, you haven't you haven't had the winning record. And so look, he's coming back next year for better or for worse, whether you like it or not, but you're gonna sell that I know a lot of Vanderbilt fans that I know are done are done with the program. They are not going to renew their season tickets and go forward. I want nothing more than this man to succeed. I'd yeah. love for him to go 12-0 and go to the SEC championship game. Absolutely. We would love that. We would love that. It's not going to happen. It's probably not going to happen under Derek Mason. Do you think the, the public relations side of, of what he's said, you know, after the win against Missouri and then, you know, what happens after Florida, you need changes. Do, do you like all that? I mean, he's kind of made him made a mess of that. Is that I, I, think, I just think he just won't get the season over with. Plus, you had three years to get a replacement for Kyle Shermer, and you don't have a quarterback. You had a while to do that. I don't know, man. I just yeah. – but, you know, there's two games left, beat ETSU, and you go and beat Tennessee, and then all's forgiven, I guess, right? Yeah. Well, everybody's going to get let go eventually. We'll be interested to see how this one plays out at Vandy.